All right, we have another Euler's method problem here. We have a differential equation with initial conditions. We want to solve up to y at 0 0.6, step size of 0 0.2, and we also want to find the error in our approximations. So, first of all, from our initial conditions, we know that y naught is equal to 2, and t naught is equal to 0. We also know that t is going to be changing throughout the problem, so we have ti is going to equal 0 0.2 times i, where i is just our integer that we're incrementing. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, it's given that we can write this again. We have y at 0 is equal to 2. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to have, so this is like our y naught. We could even say that this is equal to y naught. So now what we do is we have y at 0 0.2. y at 0 0.2. First of all, this is our y1 value. And this is going to equal y naught plus 0 0.2 times our function evaluated at t naught and y naught. Okay, so this is all equal to, well, y naught is equal to 2 plus 0 0.2 times our function, which is 3 times t naught. t naught is 0. Uh, and then we have e to the negative y naught, so this is like negative 2. But this will all become 0, so we get that we have y1 will be equal to 2 as well. All right, so uh, let's go up to y, uh, step again to y at 0 0.4. So here we will have, this will be equal to y2. This is going to be... Here we have y1 plus 0 0.2 times uh, function at, evaluated at t1 and y1. So this will be equal to, well, we have y2, or sorry, y1, which is still 2, plus 0 0.2 times 3 times, now our t value, or t1, is going to be 0 0.2, because we've incremented it, times e to the power of negative y1. So this is still e to the power of negative 2. Okay, close that bracket. So when we solve this in the calculator, we'll get that y2 is going to actually be equal to 2.016. All right, so now we only wanted to go up to y at, point, uh, y at 0 0.6. We could go a lot farther, but that's just very repetitive. You guys don't need to watch me do the whole thing. So we have y at 0 0.6. This is going to be equal to our y3 value, so it is y2 plus 0 0.2 function evaluated at t2 y2. So we get 2.016 plus 0 0.2 times 3 times 0 0.4. Now we've incremented our t value again to t2 times e to the power of negative 2.016. That's our y2 value. So when we go and solve this, we'll get y3, which is y at 0 0.6. And this is approximately, well, approximated to, it actually is. Um, approximation gives us 0 0.2.0482. Maybe make that readable, 2.82. OK, so these are our approximations that we got with Euler's method. Now what we want to do is we want to compare these and find out what the error is uh, compared to the actual value of the differential equation. So let's change colors here. Um, now what we need to do is we need to separate, we do need to do a separation of variables with the original differential equation. So we have, first of all, we have dy over dt is equal to 3te to the negative y. Okay, we can rewrite this as e to the y dy um, is equal to 3t dt. Right, we just brought the dt up and brought the, the ey over to the other side, but it was negative, so it ends up being on top. All right, now what we do is just integrate both of these guys, integrate both sides, left side with respect to y, right side with respect to t, and we will get e to the y. You know what, let's go up here. We're running low on space. So we'll get e to the y is equal to t squared 
Uh, and this is over half, 3 halves, so that's 1.5 plus C. Now we take the natural log of both sides, and then we end up uh, getting Y is equal to ln of 1.5 T squared plus C. All right. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to uh, find out what this arbitrary constant is using our initial conditions that were given to us. So we can plug in y is equal to 2 and t is equal to 0. So this gives us 2 is equal to ln of c, right? Because this whole term would disappear. And then we find out that c is actually going to be equal to e squared. So we get our expression for y is going to be equal to y is equal to ln of... 1.5 t squared plus e squared. So this is actual. This is actually what the the solution to the differential equation is. So now what we want to do is we want to calculate our error in the approximation. So we can change colors again. Um, we can say that if we want to evaluate the the error at y is equal to 0 0.2, so we would have y at 0 0.2 minus y1, our approximation. So if we actually plug in 0 0.2 into our expression for y and subtract our, the value we got for our, our approximation, we would get something like this, 2.0081 minus 2. And this actually gives us, uh, oops, looking kind of messy. This gives us a value of 0 0.0081 where we're subtracting, this is the actual value of the differential equation at this point, and this is the approximation. So that's our error. Now, uh, we can just do one more, I guess. Let's do the error at y is equal to 0 0.6. So we have y at 0, y at 0 0.6, sorry, minus y3. So again, what you have to do is you have to plug in 0 0.6 into the actual equation that we have here for y, and that will give us 2.07053. And then we subtract our y3 that we calculated here with our approximations. We have 2.0482. And this gives us our error of 0.0223. Uh, there's a few more decimal places, but that's good enough. So there you go. These are actually, you know, they're pretty close. They're not that far off, but now you can see this is the way that you calculate the error uh, when we're using Euler's method for approximating differential equations.